Hi guys. Let's get back to the replay commentary again. This time uh, the third place match between uh, Hero Stratus against uh, Reject. Looks like Reject will be starting game one with Sisters of Battle against Hero Stratus Imperial Guard in Quest Triumph. This map is kind of limited in terms of approach, only one ramp to the enemy base. Lots of resource to con contest, but I think overall Sisters of Battle will have an easier time of attacking in this map. While the Imperial Guard will have to play it really safe because they can't really match the Sisters of Battle firepower in tier 1. Let's take a look at how things will go for uh, Hero Stratus here. Going for two guardsmen and uh, go straight for infantry command. Reporting for duty, sir. Let's take a look at the other side of the map. We have a servitor and a missionary and a convent coming up first. Let's see whether uh, Reject will go for the standard build or not. Gets a plasma generator. So far, so good. Canonus or Battle Sisters first? Battle Sisters, of course. Gonna use the extra Battle system, Sisters to capture all the points quicker. Because all the points in this map is very close to the base. Best way to play is just to get all your economy set up first before attacking. No point in getting Canonus first since the resource is way more important and it's faster to get Battle Sisters out and cap these points. However, on the other side of the map, we have. Uh, Guardsmen going straight for General, of course, from Infantry Command. And two squads of Guardsmen capturing the listening uh, outpost. And we have... Uh, seems like we have two Tech Priests already. Getting to work, setting up the listening post. And uh, Ge General is still not reinforced yet. Not sure why, should really go straight for the Priest or the Psyker for increased movement speed or uh, available nuke. Because when you get close, you can start uh, firing away the Psyker attack on the Servitor and that will be a 75 uh, requisition down the drain for the Sisters and the uh, Servitor will probably be a little bit crippled in production for Sisters, but never mind, not a big loss. No attack yet, but let's take a look at the Guardsman. Oh, Guardsman going straight for the outermost. Uh, Strategic point here, and the general is getting a, a psyker finally. Capping the relic here, and we have a third squad of guardsmen coming out of the base as well. The imperial guard really coming out uh, with lots and lots of reinforcement. Canonis is out. Still no sign of the pristine sanctuary yet. This could be a mistake because the psyker is out, and that will inflict a lot of damage to the canonis. There it goes, Strip Soul was used and that's it, 500 hit points gone, just like that. Should retreat now, and this missionary is a little bit lost at the moment, need to back off. Sisters of Battle will probably lose this missionary. Yes, really should have retreated way earlier. And maybe set the general to uh, range stance, trying to escape now, but I don't think there he's gonna make it, maybe. Miraculously, he made it because uh, Hero Stratus forgot to set to range stance. And two squads of uh, sisters is out. Not reinforced, obviously. But attaches the missionary in time and uses healing. But it did not stop one uh, battle sisters from getting insta gib by the priest. This fully reinforced command squad is pretty scary in melee. And uh, Canonus really needs to get in there and uh, save her sisters. However, sisters now. Managed to demoralize one squad of guardsmen so uh, he can switch target. Very good play here from uh, Hero Stratus. Uh, but Hero Stratus has to fall back. We're taking too many losses and Rejag finally getting the Pristine Sanctuary up. And of course, with these uh, advantage, the Imperial Guardsmen stand no chance. Look at this. Look at this area attack. A lot of hit points gone and no morale to regenerate and managed to escape with. Managed to escape and did not get lose one squad. But this listening post will go down probably and... Uh, hmm. Reject should really decap this one with missionary ASAP. 
and it looks like uh, even the phosphorus grenade is already added on to the battle sister squad and the third squad is up with a fresh recharge of the grenade cooldown and this will be the start of the imperial guardsman nightmare and reject did not decapture this point Guardsman at a slight advantage on resource right now, but his army is way, way weaker. Hero Stratus really should pull back. Command Squad is about to lose a priest right now, and upon losing that priest, a lot of hit points going to be lost. I mean, uh, loss of Psyker, yes, that's the Psyker gone. And uh, the general now will soon follow. Not a lot of hit points in this squad, and... Uh, Reject should really focus on taking down these guys because this uh, listening boat is not upgraded and does not pose any threat. Really, you should inflict permanent damage on these uh, command squads. Command squad is now left with the priests, and two squad of guardsmen will try to do something, but obviously, with the infernal pistol here, uh, there's really not much they can do. So, let's take a look at the economy here 9220 for the sisters and 10430 for imperial guardsmen. Still no sign of tier 2 yet, should really hit the tier 2 button. I suspect this is his weakness actually, doesn't know the time to uh, hit tier 2. Hero Stratus is looking at a lot of advantage and resource but... Oh, he's already in tier 2, gets mechanized command. This could prove to be very uh, dangerous for the sisters. Meanwhile, sisters uh, 9220 economy and just started on tier 2 upgrade. But he has a lot of map control now. After winning that uh, massive battle, lots of casualty inflicted on both sides, but I think uh, Sister should have slight advantage here. Because this mechanized command will not go up really fast, and even once they reach uh, the Sister's base, there should be plenty of Celestian squad waiting. Another critical location here, controlled by a uh, hero strata, should get decapped shortly. What I do understand is why uh, Reject does not split up his, uh, I mean detach his uh, missionary. That way he can capture three locations at once instead of uh, focusing on one point at a time. Anyway, he's gonna get this listening post and probably this one as well. Map control is uh, pretty much on the sister's favor after the early advantage and uh, now Imperial Guardsman only at 8640. And will be forced to go for vehicles, this time going for a Hellhound. Not a good choice in my opinion. Hellhounds against Sisters. 15% uh, more to go. By the time the Hellhound arrives, the Celestian Squad will be out and be able to take care of the Hellhounds easily. And this uh, squad of Battle Sisters, not sure what they're doing, should really just hang back. There's no reason to rush. Anyway, tries to inflict some damage here on the listening post. Let's see how it goes. It's upgraded already and that should deal enough damage, but the Hellhound should be there to stop this attack. Look at that. A lot of damage been inflicted and uh, I don't see any response from the Guardsmen yet. Finally, the Guardsmen are here. Uh, Phosphorus Grenade should make short work of this blob of infantry. Uh, what's going on here? Why is there no... Uh, okay, Phosphorus Grenade deployed and look at that. Inventory gone. All demoralized and there's plenty of damage on both sides but look at that missionary healing is being used and the command squad has taken a lot of damage two members about to die in quick succession and it's just the general left in play and look at that I was wrong the hellhound did not really inflict any damage at all on the sisters and the strategic point goes down and that should be it I think that that really is it Celestian squad is out, that will uh, handle all this Hellhound, and yes, that this should be GG. This Hellhound is going to try to inflict some damage, but look at this, Celestian squad is out, tries to get the uh, wep heavy weapons, but <laughs> goes for the <laughs> superior veteran first, but doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't know why they stop, can really push in, yes, there's really no reason to hesitate. You really can't lose at the moment. Look at this. Should really garrison instead of standing in the open. Wow. Guardsman just melts. And this phosphor grenade completely missed, but still, doesn't matter. Um, a little bit of demoralize from the Hellhound uh, flaming damage, but uh, Sisters uh, 
Celestial's Claw will come back probably and make short work of it. Cannon is a little bit stuck, decides to stand our ground. Uh, okay, three Hellhounds now just standing in front, one barely alive with 75 hit points. Hell, uh, Cannonus is being chased down by the Hellhounds, but the Celestian uh, squad should really respawn. Where is the Celestian squad? I'm very confused. Anyway, taken hold victory already at 5 minutes remaining. Pretty much over in my opinion. Unless something drastic happens. Cannonus uh, gets attached in time. Will still take damage from the area of attack, but look at how fast this uh, Hellhound gets melted. Yep, 4 minutes 40 seconds remaining and this uh, listening post should finish and gives that boost of uh, resource for sisters again. Should really not upgrade, there's no point. Maybe should get more generators at this point and spam more Celestians because that is obviously the key to victory here because without vehicle support, the guardsmen really can't do anything against this phosphorus grenade and flamers and uh, sisters really just needs all the power they can get at this point at this point and maybe all the heavy weapons they can get and as you can see there's not even a, a confessor out there's really no need you just you should just go ham this is very op mm, true and uh, hero stratus calls gg doesn't want to waste time 10 minutes and the score is 1 nil to reject convincing victory and here we see a second match uh, for Hero Stratus Eldar against uh, Rejects uh, Necrons in the map's uh, Meeting of Mine. I'm not really positive on this. Uh, how will the Eldars play this against Necron? In my opinion, Eldars has the slight advantage at the start where they can use a fleet of foot to outmaneuver the Necrons, but not for long. It'll be a very tiring game of micro for uh, Eldars. While well, Necron can steadily defend himself and perhaps uh, build up and slowly overwhelm the elders as the elders player slowly makes mistakes. Anyway, let's take a look here at Reject's side for Scarabs, of course, no sign of the God Star yet. Going to send one squad out, uh, one squad of Scarabs out to check out the enemy base perhaps? Meanwhile, the Eldar side, Hero Stratus, going for the standard uh, two Guardian squad and a second Bone Singer. We'll probably start finish work on Aspect Portal and start on Power Generator immediately. No reason to delay. And we'll split up, uh, or maybe don't, we'll split up both uh, Bone Singers. will start work on the strategic point immediately. Anyway, let's go back to the Scarab right here. Up to some shenanigans, perhaps. We'll get a turret. However, the Guardian Squad spots them immediately, and uh, this Scarab should abort all attempt. Unless uh, Hero Stratus failed to notice, Eldar has finally noticed the threat. Scarabs failed to decapture this listening shrine. I mean, uh, this uh, strategic point before the listening shrine goes up. Pretty good uh, play so far by the Eldars. No mistakes. Um, gets a Reaper and use it to capture the innermost uh, strategic point. While uh, Rage X Scarab is still looking for opportunities to uh, decapture this point, perhaps. Um, if Hero Stratus is fast enough, he can probably drop a uh, listening post here before they can start decapturing. But I'm not so sure. Second squad of Reapers out. Not getting rallied in time. And yes, did not manage to drop a listening post before uh, Scarab's decapture. And that's one loss of a point, a slight uh, success, I guess, for the Scarab's harass. Anyway, uh, no sign of uh, Ghost Turret so far. Uh, pretty confident play from Reject here. We'll get a Necron Lord, and that will be a sufficient deterrent for the Reaper squad. But the Reaper squad uh, is finally deployed, and I don't see any fleet of foot being researched yet. A third squad of Reapers is deployed, but... They should really add on the Exarch immediately. The Exarch adds a lot of damage. Instead he goes... Uh, he's not gonna reinforce them, not sure why. And this Scarab uh, squad is trying to look for another opportunity to decapture, probably going for the Relic. And uh, Dark Reaper did not finish, not sure why. 
uh, Dark Reaper against Necron, and that's why you need uh, Fleet of Foot, so you can retreat from this uh, from the range of the Necron Warriors. And uh, hmm. yes, this Scarab survive and reinforce goes for the critical point instead. Good choice that will improve his uh, construction speed once captured. And the Necron Warriors. Uh, Managed to teleport away before being wiped, and as you can see, there's no ghost turret at all in the Necron base. Instead, goes for a turret finally at the fourth minute. Meanwhile, this mass of Dark Reapers finally advancing towards the Necron base, but I, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure whether this will work out. Because one blast from the Obelisk and a lot of damage will be inflicted. We've got three squads of Dark Reapers here, and no notice that they still don't get any Exarch added on. Not sure why, that's a lot of damage is missing. Because the Exarch improved the entire squad's damage output, and this uh, Ghost Tower is hitting them for free. And I still see no Fleet of Foot being used. Using Fleet of Foot on Re Reapers is very, very important because you need to get out of range, you know, you can't afford to get hit by uh, Necron Warriors or Necron Lords, so you activate it, get out of range, stop, return fire, by and deactivate your fleet of foot, and you reactivate it again. Doing it without fleet of foot here is a little bit suicidal. And that's a lot of resource being lost, 70 uh, resource uh, to replace the Reapers one by one. And Necron Lord will probably retreat because he is at low hit points at the moment. And look at this, Necron Warriors uh, marching out and somehow losing this engagement. Amazingly. Reapers taking advantage of this heavy cover. But Necron Lord rejoins the fight at low hit points. Uh, probably gets an archive. Yes, Forbidden Archive is up, so he'll be probably using some artifacts pretty soon. And look at this uh, Reapers losing the engagement immediately. Oh, finally, Fleet of Foot. God, that is so late. That is very, very late. And is he even tier 2? I don't see any Soul Shrine yet. Uh, that's pretty worrying. That's pretty worrying. Really can't win this at tier 1 and come on, stop and fire, you're already out of range. And yes, the Necron Lord managed to retreat just in time again, 100 hit points, back to the safe spot. And now it's uh, Eldar's turn to press again uh, with high mobility troops. Should really send their scouts out to capture this point perhaps, so they can establish a, a forward point, maybe get a gateway so you can retreat and uh, heal your troops. A lot of options are available, but right now if you decide to attack here, this upgrade obelisk will deliver a lot of damage. So I can see right now they're trying to find a... Uh, oh, look at that. A lot of damage inflicted already. Amazing. Amazing, amazing damage. And <laughs> Necron Lord again dodges death just in time. 60 hit points. And this obelisk should go down really, really quickly. Oh, why did you stop? Jeez, oh, why did you stop? Oh, this is dangerous. Fleet of foot, get out of there. Yes. Hero Stratus now holds uh, enough uh, critical uh, points to uh, trigger take and hold victory. But the Scarab should prove more than capable of decapturing. But look at this, uh, Guardian Squad managed to capture this relic. Necron Lord uh, decides to intervene. <laughs> and uh, looks like they decide to try and capture the central critical point as well. Not sure why, I should really focus on harassing the hell out of the Necron Warriors because if you keep on pressing and uh, harassing the hell out of Necrons, they will have problem trying to focus and this uh, Scarab will try to decapture but will surely, surely die. If it wasn't for the fact that they uh, they need to use Wraith, you can't use Scarabs at this point. The Reapers are simply too effective at taking down those Scarabs. And it seems like uh, finally we'll be, we'll be seeing a 
No Shoal Shrine yet. That's uh, that's fucking weird. 700 resource and 200. Oh, finally. Good lord. <laughs> so much resource. Should really get more uh, Bone Singers and plant those uh, power generators. And look at this. One squad of uh, Necron War is completely wiped out. That's a... Uh, that's a that's a terrible loss to take. Anyway, Necron going tier two. Kudos Sorn, he was trying to do that earlier. Probably cancel it to get the Forbidden Archive. And yes, once again, uh, a lot of damage been inflicted by the uh, Obelisk here. And wisely changes target to the Ghost Turret. But Necron has a teleport, and this Necron words will probably drive away the Reapers before they can inflict too much damage. But look at this, Eldars are taking over the map surely. 128, 30 uh, economy, that's very very good. What are you waiting for? Spam more uh, Dark Reapers, get more gateways, uh, webway gates, I mean, and teleport around the map. Fuck, fuck around with this Negrons. You got this. Uh, amazingly, Hero Stratus got this. And Necrolord taking a lot of damage here will be retreating and activates uh, Solar Pulse in panic. Not a good use, but he'll take it. And this uh, Guardian Squad did not manage to escape. Gets wiped by this mass of Necron Warriors. I think what uh, what Necron should Necron should be doing right now is focus on getting vehicles ASAP. But right now they are they have a lot of energy drain. They don't have enough income. Only seven seven generators up right now. Should really get more and goes for a greater summoning core right now. And uh, this four uh, reapers should not really be idling. You're already in tier two, so spend all this resource. Come on, uh, get more power generator. Why why are you idling? Get more power generator. Yes, more of them. Get two more Bone Singers and teleport around. Maybe upgrade it with the uh, Stasis. Uh, no, no, I mean uh, Tomb, Rave Bomb. Uh, what do you call it? Rave Bomb, yes. So you can uh, disable all this uh, Obelisk and and Ghost Turrets or maybe even a Juicy Monolith. But instead he goes for Taken Hold Victory. 3 minutes 30 seconds, not a bad strategy, but this pure <laughs> Reaper army, I'm, I'm just not sure. Uh, these Reapers will easily, uh, I mean, these Reapers will easily be in trouble once the Wraith comes in or the Flayed ones gets in and disrupt them and the, the Wraiths will go in and face shift the decapture. And here comes one right now going for the uh, bottom of the map, Three critical minutes. location, while the, another one goes for the top one. That will be sufficient, yes. In fact, this uh, capture will not complete at all. This taken hold is pretty pointless, if I must say. <laughs> pretty, pretty pointless. And the capture complete, and there we go. Face shift activated, and uh, Rafe gets away for free. Another point decaptured, and that's it. No more taken hold. We exist and we have a uh, Howling Banshee squad. Um, not sure why. You should really be getting a webway gate around the map that can be used as healing points. And now we have destroyers on the field, and that will force the elders to go for fire dragons. Destroyers really uh, counters reapers so hard. Or any inventory in general. Look at this LP2 uh, is already up. Necron Warriors will try to march up now. But look at this uh, destroyers, <laughs> just killing Reapers for free. And these Reapers, they're not gonna do a lot of damage. And without Fire Warriors, this is simply un. <laughs> this is simply done. This this attack can't be stopped. Solar Pulse is activated. These two listening posts will probably go down. Should really retreat. No point in contesting this. Just let it go. Just let it go for now. Back off. Uh, no. Okay. Eldar is deciding to engage instead with uh, two Howling Banshee squad. To tie up the. Necron Warriors, but this uh, Necron Lord is having an easy time just 
wrecking animal. Look at that, Flayed Ones is out as well, and this will force the Reapers to move. They're running out of ground to run. And finally, Support Portal is coming up for vehicles, but it's a little bit too late now. This situation could have been avoided had they gone for uh, Fire Dragons much, much earlier. And this Howling Banshee squad, despite inflicting a lot of casualty, they will not survive for long. Fire Dragons finally on the field and look at how fast this uh, destroyer gets destroyed. <laughs> the irony. But this Wraith is gonna tie them down pretty quickly so another squad will probably need to be added. And this Flayed Ones <laughs> forcing the Reapers to get back. A lot of action here outside the Elder Base. This could be a bad sign. You see, because... Wow. Eldar is going tier 3? Are you sure about this? Uh, while you're under attack, you're going for tier 3. Shouldn't you be spamming vehicles instead? Like... Get, get some, some vehicle support for fuck's sake, your listening posts are being destroyed here. This destroyer is not being finished off, not sure why. Oh, finally it's gone to listening post fire. And somehow, uh, the Eldar has managed to survive this uh, crisis. But still, the support portal is still not doing any work. And Necron will be forced to teleport out now, right now. Can't fight this. Too many uh, firepower coming in their direction. And th this fire dragon will make short work of the destroyer. But come on, get some vehicles. Really? 300, 500 resource and you're not getting any vehicles out. That's uh... Oh no. Come on, get out of the solar pulse for fuck's sake. Ugh. <laughs> What's going on here? I'm impressed. I mean, wow. Did this uh. Listening try and. manage to survive this long? <laughs> Necrons! Still pressing on despite not having a lot of firepower. This is, this is a serious error in my opinion. You shouldn't be going through with this. You're not gonna inflict a lot of casualty this way, man. And uh, yeah, it's still very, very bad for Necrons because they're going all in at this kind of low resource. 79? 69 now. Wow. You're not ready. <laughs> You're not ready for this. And uh, it seems like the teleport's in cooldown, so yeah. Necron Lord, activate phase shift. Uh, we'll be forced to retreat. Activate solar pulse to minimize uh, damage while retreating. But look at this. They're, they're still coming at you. You should fall back. And uh, reminder to all elder players out there. You can still use flit of foot on your fire dragon, so yeah. If you're trying to reposition your fire dragon, just just fucking fleet of foot instead of walking at uh, slow speed. Yep, uh, and continue firing on them, please. Continue firing at the destroyers. Really, that's 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 the only thing they're good for. Fire dragons are really terrible at at at, at others other tasks. Anyway, you can see here uh, the necrons are still trying to defend in this open ground. I'm not sure why uh, Reject is playing like this. His economy is terrible, and uh, Eldar is basically, wow, holy shit, 152, uh, 79, that's fucking crazy, man. I'm still not seeing any vehicles, though, so yeah, this is a pretty weird, uh, a very, very weird game. I mean, he's not broke. He has a lot of resource, and that's tier 3 resource upgrade, 182, 79 economy. This is GG. This is a guaranteed hero Stratus win right here. The economy is just too good and his army is too strong. Necrons uh, simply not having enough economy to fall back on and that's uh, tier 3 optics coming up. And that should be GG. Really, I just don't see how Necrons can fight this. Still pushing in. I don't understand this play at all. Why are you still going in and wasting all your cooldowns? This flight one, they're not gonna accomplish much. Okay, uh, finally the fighting stops, but this should be it. 
Once the vehicles come out, and still no vehicles, what the fuck? I don't understand this. <laughs> Did you just get vehicles to unlock warp spiders? I mean, wow. <laughs> you have a transport that can jump and can deal a lot of damage to other vehicles and uh, structures, so why don't you use those? You can put your fire dragons inside, jump to the enemy base and blow up his generators and that's GG. Or you can load it up with workers and drop them here and rave bomb the necron monolith and that, that's GG as well. Right now you have all the key yet you're still hanging back. For what? For a take and hold victory again? Really? So much resource just floating hard here. And he's getting a one squad of uh, one squad of uh, council with no farseer and he's getting a warp spider reinforced as well. Basically he's maximizing all his infantry cap but did not utilize a single point of vehicle cap and that's driving me nuts. But fuck it, let him do whatever he wants, seriously. At this point, there's no way he can lose, because uh, look at this, the economy of the Necron is pretty pretty bad. You just simply can't win with this amount of generators only. Especially when the Eldar economy is at 278, that's fucking crazy, man. And uh, this army of Eldar taking out one obelisk here. Not gonna take too many losses, I hope. There's no way they can lose here, I just can't see it. Necrons don't have enough army, not enough resource, and it uh, looks like they're they're really, really far behind here. And taking whole victories in effect, so the pressure is on. And look at this, the arrival of the... <sighs> Come on, Warp Spider does shit damage against the Destroyer. So what are you doing? Just jump in there and start shooting it. Uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, here comes your council as well, and that should be the cue for Necrons to uh, resign. Really, you can't win. What the hell can you do against this kind of fucking army? Literally, just melt. You can't win against uh, Eldar with this kind of economy. 64, that's terrible. Don't have a real army as well, and this Necron Lord will surely go down. Okay, GG, yes, finally, you get the point. That's a pretty strange play by a reject. He went all in just now. He went all in here. The attack was doing well at some point, but he didn't focus. He did not take out these two listening posts and did not retreat when the attack was half done. The attack was really, really half repulsed at that point. And the only thing he did was destroy this listening post. And when he got beat back, he has no economy to fall back upon. And look at this, 191.77 economy is huge. It's just way too much to overcome. Anyway, let's move on to the third game after a 1-1. That's pretty exciting for third place game. And the final match will go, oh my god, Hero Stratus, you're taking Imperial Guard again against Sisters of Battle? And the map is Phantom Morga? I don't know about this. I really don't know about this. Ugh. Fata Morga. It's gonna be a pretty straightforward game, I think. Let's hope it ain't so, but I kinda suspect it's gonna go up the same way as the first game. Anyway, uh, get the guardsmen first. Two guardsmen and the tech priest. Inventory command, of course. Well, top side of the map, we get convent, probably power generator. And yes, of course, pristine sanctuary will follow. It's a matter of timing. Battle Sister Squad come out first. Of course. You get faster capture time. Yep. Hmm. Second missionary out of the chapel, but did not get uh, assigned to capture anything. So, Reject, losing a little bit of time here. Should really go for this capture, perhaps? A little bit of mismanagement. And still, this missionary is not moving. That's triggering me so hard. How can you forget? Look at this guy. He's just standing there doing nothing. Hello, it's one minute already and this guy is still not capping anything. Jeez. 
Is that the sign of things to come? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's take a look at the other side of the map. Wow, uh, Imperial Guard going for a different approach this time. Goes for the outermost uh, points first and gets a priest immediately. Finally, at the uh, 1 minute 40 seconds, he realized one missionary was idling and goes to capture. That's a lot of resource uh, not being collected. Imperial Guard is slightly ahead right now, 44-10. Already got uh, listening posts uh, getting constructed and uh, the cap for the faith is already being increased. Canonist is out. Pristine Sanctuary will come up shortly, I'm pretty sure. And still, sisters managed to arrive on the scene, on the map, I mean, earlier. Should really learn how to harass with the command squad, probably. And what the fuck? I thought he got a priest first. Instead, he gets a psyker and then a priest. Cancel the priest midway. Hmm. I don't know why uh, Hero Stratus does not harass here. It's a good opportunity to get an early harass probably, just to stop the sisters from having too much of the map. Because if you're giving the sister a lot of resource at the start, it's gonna be an uphill struggle for you as the Imperial Guardsman in trying to uh, beat down, I mean uh, endure the tier one, uh, tier 1 pressure, especially when they get all these toys from the pristine sanctuary, which is still not up yet. Uh, and this relic gets decaptured. Not a bad play from Hero Stratus here. Tries to harass, but surely he knows uh, this guardsman really can't stand their ground against. Uh... Wow, he's standing his ground, really. Canonus will arrive on the scene. And uh, Pristine Sanctuary is still far from being completed, so this might be an opportunity. Gets a healing faith uh, used to ensure that no sisters' uh, hit points are lost. Decides to push in, yes, this is a good timing. Once the Pristine Sanctuary is done, he'll be right outside the enemy base and the grenades will be ready. And the flamers will be getting upgraded, but one relic has already been lost and no attempts to recapture was made. Third squad of Battle Sisters out, and now they're right outside the enemy base. Strip Soul using the Canonist, pretty good play here. And uh, Pristine Sanctuary is up, and that will mean Flamers are being added on, I suppose. Uh, and uh, of course, Grenades as well. Nope? No. Okay, fine, that's fine. <laughs> I thought that's pretty crucial. Oh yes, that's it. Here comes a 2 progress bar. That means uh, Phosphorus Grenade and Infernal Pistol coming up. And uh, they've secured a decent chunk of the map, but still no capture on the critical location yet. And this relic is still uh, far away from being captured. Meanwhile, uh, Imperial Guard already staring at the 140, 104 uh, slash 40 soon economy is pretty good. But this attack will prove to be very, very deadly. Look at that. Flamers, Phosphorus Grenade, everything, all unleashed. And yes, I think this should be it. Yep, that's a pretty decisive victory here. I don't know why Hero Stratus picked Imperial Guard for his uh, last game. Should we pick Eldars? I think Eldars will do better against the Imperial Guard. Right now, things will be very, very difficult. Once the Flamers are up and the Infernal Grenade is up and... Uh, there's really no coming back. The pistols... Everything just conspire against the Imperial Guards <laughs> in this matchup. Don't know why he sticks with the Imperial Guard. Uh, I wouldn't have done this. I mean, I wouldn't have picked Imperial Guard against Sisters. This is just too difficult. It's just not a good matchup. Not impossible, of course, but... Really, the, the, the Guardsmen... <laughs> they just break too easily and they just die too easily. Tier 1. Well, the sisters, they don't have suffer from that kind of problem. Look at that. The flamers just basically zeroing away their morale in, in less than 10 seconds, and then the area damage just burns them down as well. There's no losses. The guardsmen should really get some kind of uh, grenades perhaps to counter this, but no, it's too late. 
at this point. It's just a slow death at this point. Should Willy try to uh, garrison inside an uh, infantry command perhaps? Instead of uh, standing in open ground, but look at this, this is too late. This is probably GG and that's a win for Reject once again. No, this is not what the fuck is that shit. It's just, just like, you're not learning. You're not learning. You know it's just too difficult to fight. Yet, you approach it the same way. No, no, Reject. You're just giving him a very... He's not in the position to listen right now, but... <sighs> He's not a he's not a learning 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 mindset right now, but really, he should have expected that. I mean, it's a repeat of the first game. It's the same shit. Why did he not pick Eldar? That that is one thing I do not understand. Anyway, that's it. Uh, two nil victory. Uh, two one victory for Reject. Basically, Sisters of Battle having too much of an advantage over Imperial Guard, and uh, don't know why Hero Stratus stuck with Imperial Guard despite not having the advantage or knowing how to counter that. Yes, it's a bad matchup. Why didn't you switch? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Third place goes to uh, Reject with a 2-1 victory.